Hmm. Okay, um, what am I going to wear? <sighs> well, I originally would have worn my black silk dress, but I guess this is not the occasion for it. <laughs> hmm. I guess something casual works, but I don't want it to seem like I put no effort into it. <sighs> okay, let's see. What could it be? After all, I want to impress him somehow. Okay, so. Maybe the skirt with tights and on top my pretty turtleneck? It could look pretty with fitting jewelry, I guess. Okay, let's try this out. Um, first the skirt and then the um, yeah. Okay, this should be at main entrance. I'm a little early, but better early than late, right? It's definitely windy today. I wish I had brought my scarf. Oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> Come here. Seems like we both got here a bit early, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I don't like to be late either. That, that's for me? Oh, um, thanks. That's very, very sweet of you. A rose and chocolate? Mm, simple, but a classic choice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, um, this too. Oh, what's this? Sticky notes. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, yeah. Oh, what for? Studying. <laughs> I have so many of these, but still, thank you. I appreciate it. That's the thought that counts at the end. Okay, um, hold on. Let me put the chocolate and the sticky notes in my bag. Okay, now. We are lucky today. Even though it's windy, it's not raining at least. As you may have heard, it rains in this town a lot. <laughs> oh, mm, well, yeah, I'm a bit cold, but that's fine. I should have worn a scarf, but I completely forgot. <sighs> you were thinking of putting on a scarf, but didn't in the end. Mm, oh well, then we shall share that suffering. <laughs> ah. Well, um, so what's the plan for today? Hmm, that sounds nice. I like that. Ah, I love how in autumn everything turns so colorful. I mean, yeah, some may argue that it's the season of death 
where everything comes to an end but what I really like about that is that even though the trees lose their leaves the flowers and the sun disappear I know very well that at the end of the day there will be a time where everything blooms again a time of new beginnings so after everything that ends there will be a new beginning somewhere just like starting a new chapter in a book <laughs> oh i i hope you didn't mind that i started rambling about all this it just <sighs> it just really fascinates me what we can learn and take from nature <sighs> That's what I really like about you. Whatever I say, how random it might seem, or how silly it is in the end, you never judge me. You just listen carefully and try to understand. I really appreciate that about you. There are not many people like that. Many people don't listen to understand, but they listen to just answer what they already wanted to answer, so I don't know, anyway. Hmm. Uh-huh. I get that. I do, really. But that's what makes you so different from everyone else. <laughs> no, I'm not psychoanalyzing you. I just met a lot of different people in my life and you're the first one i feel so understood around why i'm studying psychology that's a good question well First of all, it's such an interesting science, with so many different areas to work and research in. There are so many opportunities in this field. I guess that's one reason. <sighs> okay, I... I don't really like talking about this, because... Um, Anyway, uh, but I trust you, and, um, well, I'm not sure if you knew, but I'm not originally from around here. When I was three years old, my parents left our home country to come here, to grant me and my sibling a better future and education, but growing up, I learned that we weren't actually welcome here. <sighs> My parents went through so many hardships for us. Bureaucracy, difficulties of finding a job, but most importantly, finding a community where we were really welcome was difficult. Growing up as a kid, I didn't understand these things. I always wondered why things were different for us. But <sighs> only later on I found out why the kids in school treated me differently. 
why, even though no one ever said anything, I was never really one of them. And even no one made it obvious, and everything was just a joke, it was clear. I mean, people ask me where I'm from, and when I name them the city I live in, they keep asking. No, where are you really from? Hinting that they don't see me as a part of the city, of this country, and all that just by judging my appearances. They think that I'm from somewhere else. I mean, sure, there is no ill intention, and I'm not offended by it, but it can do a lot to someone. It changes how you act, how you go through the day, and you wonder how you're being perceived. And those are only minor things. But I think it's really interesting how we humans immediately and unconsciously know who is similar to us and who isn't, and what kind of role that plays in social interactions. <sighs> I think that's why. To find out why we behave the way we do, and what society and groups do to us. But maybe, and most importantly, the sole reason I study is to make my parents proud. To not let it go to waste that they had to go through all this and so much more. <sighs> anyway, um... <sighs> mm, I'm not sure about that. It's a tough topic. Is there hope for us? Maybe. Maybe. But one thing that will never change about human nature, and never has, is that we will always put our selfish needs first. Each one of us. Even me. I mean... Well, yeah, you're right about that, definitely. I guess we could say that at the end of all, we will be the ones that win. Come on, just, just trust me. No need to be shy about holding my hand. Yes, I know a very good place. Just close your eyes and follow my steps. Well, after all, you gave me a gift, so I need to return the favor and impress you as well, shouldn't I? <laughs> Okay, almost there. Just follow me. Okay, we are here. You can open your eyes now. This... This is the best spot to look at the town from above. So, when I need time for myself, I come here. It's just the silence and nature I enjoy and that helps me get a clear mind about things. <sighs> <laughs> You're right. 
from up above, the town looks smaller than it already is, doesn't it? Oh, look over there. Yeah, behind that brown building, brownish building. Yep, that's our building. <laughs> mm, this is nice. Hmm. You don't need to worry about that. I didn't really care much where we went today or what we did together. I just enjoyed the time we spent together and was really happy that I was able to spend it with you. I don't need expensive gifts or grand gestures. All I need is someone I can fully trust and be myself around. And I can do that around you. Sometimes the things that matter the most in life are the little things. What? Why do you look at me like that? There needs to be a catch somewhere. What do you mean by that? Why would anyone ever... Why would anyone ever leave someone like me? Um, is that a compliment? I don't get it. No, 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 uh, uh, it's fine. It just caught me off guard. Um, uh, I just don't like talking about it. It's, um, there's not much to know anyway. We don't need to ruin our good moment with that. I mean, some things happen and... And, um, can we please change the topic and just enjoy the scenery? Um, 